Hey, yo, what's up? People call me Screwdriver, but my real name is Lou, and I am your guide through this short movie. So listen up. A young girl appears from the white fluffy clouds on the red carpet. If you ask my opinion, Megan looks better in blue. Anyway, a simple yet powerful dream of her becoming a... What was that? Who forgot to turn off their cell phone? Oh, it's your phone, Megan. Ooh, it's him. This might get a little awkward. Hang in there. Just one moment as she gets this. I'll be over here, Megan. Oh, yeah. Megan, leave me alone about it. Oh, oh Megan. If you're not going to support me being here, then you should just keep to yourself. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. <laughs> White flag! White flag! I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Could have broke me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to break you. I, it was my dad. He's just the last person I want to talk to in the morning. It's cool. I get it. I'm like already broken, so, you know, that'd make me like, like fixed. It'd make me fix. Nice try, Sophia. Yeah. Yeah. But I still love you, boo-boo. just, no, I don't want to talk to my dad if he's just going to tell me to come home, you know? Like, this is my new home. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, yeah. Super sucks. At any oh. Yeah, I spilled spaghetti on my shirt. Why was he eating spaghetti that early in the morning? You know, I was playing risky, okay? Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, do you need a new shirt? Yes. Thank you for asking. Do you have anything blue? All right, girls. Get glammed up. Y'all gonna be late. No, Stacy, wait. Please, listen to me. I didn't mean to cheat on you. It just kind of happened. I mean, she is very attractive. The reason I took the job at the hospital was because I want to help people. I want to fix them, polish them, and birth them, help them birth, you know? If this director cast Dude, this you. poorly gifted gentleman with the role of stud muffin golden lilacs, I ain't narrating this shit. I still love you. <laughs> Please leave. Ooh, I hope everything goes okay. No, I did well, don't worry. I get gassy when I'm nervous. Um. Oh, man. We're done, thank you. We're done. Next! Let's go. Did we go through an agency to get these guys or? Find the people off the streets. Come on, people. Just keep it cool and breathe. Breathing me so worse. God, just don't breathe. We gotta get up out of here. Oh. Oh. I see what you're trying to do here. You're trying to kill me off so that you get the role. Now no, that not. is a plot twist. I'm not. Next. Coming. Wish me luck. You got this. You and your girlfriend aren't gonna get the role. Well, look who it is. Sandy. I say that with love. You know, I say things with love too, except they come out just a little bit differently. And she's not my girlfriend. Oh, that's right, you're single. Did this- Sucks to be ugly, doesn't it? Okay, Megan, do not hold back on this <gasps> Make a scene bigger than what was written. Not this two-faced silicone yeah. wannabe into next Tuesday. Fine. What? That's not what I meant, Megan. Wow, you're really good at comebacks. Maybe you should do that for your audition. Wow, you're, wow, you're really, really good, good, good at comebacks. Maybe you should do that for your audition. You should do that for your audition. Exactly, doesn't it? What do you mean you cheated on me? On me? Well, let me tell you something, Golden Lee Locks. I love you. Yeah, there. We have a future together. What do you mean, my sister? My sister, what? I've seen enough, thank you. Kiss her already! Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I feel like I really nailed it today. Like I did the mean face. Oh! Uh-huh, no, I know. I feel really good about it. How do you feel? Well, <laughs> I don't think I got the call back. Why, why? So you know how Sandy, she taught me. Mm. So when you always go into the room to mm. compliment the producer, cast or writer, whatever on what they're wearing. Mm -hmm. So I go into the casting room and I complimented him on his fake eye. 
He didn't have a big eye. <laughs> Sophia. Oh man, are you serious? <laughs> compliments me on a big eye if they don't have one. Yeah, I know. I just want to drown my feelings in this ice cream. You know, it's still not as bad as that time where you ran into the Dino Park oh, 2 God. director with a full are cup of coffee. Are These girls are a mess. You know what they need? A hunk of a man. A divine creature of muscles. We'll get back to him later. Oh. You gonna get that? Mm, no. Why? I mean, if my dad called, I'd think that one of his cats that he loves more than me ran away. And wow, that, that's really sad when I say that out loud. Yeah. yeah. And all my dad wants to talk about is how I need to come home and how this whole LA thing is a joke. Mm. I need something more down to earth. Like a plumber. Oh my god, you could be a plumber? No. You could go to people's houses and show them your awesome butt crack. And you'd be like, hey. It would be so awesome. Maybe I should be a plumber. You'd be a really good plumber. Oh, Sophia. Is like, she just oh the god. best or what? She's there from the ups and downs, from side to side. She is exactly what Megan needs. OMG, OMG, OMG! I didn't want to wake you, but I got the job! I have to get on a plane after I sign the contract, so I might not be back for yellow as the new teal. Sorry, I'm yelling. Just so freaking excited! So I'll be gone for about a month. Please get my goldfish fed. I think she might be dead. But thanks! I will see you soon! As a narrator, normally I read the script beforehand. And this was never in there. All you need to do is what she did, I guess. Compliment people on they fake eyes and... Aw, oh, baby girl. Only I could just give you a hug and tell you everything will be okay. I told you we would get back to this guy. Whenever Megan needs advice about money, business, or just life in general from a smoking hot figure, she goes to Elliot. He goes by Ellie. Not sure why. That sucks. She just left just like that. Just like that. Like that. Ah, like that. Is it the like breath that. Like That's that. exactly what you need, Megan. Listen, I want to blow some truth on you. Oh. It'll help me prepare for my role as a dad in a feature film. You know, some big names, nothing serious. Look at you, boo boo. Oh, schnookums. You want to be an actor, right? So act like you don't miss Sophia. Remember when you were a kid? I always missed your soccer games. It's nothing crazy for me, but see, you came home crying. Like I never showed up. Boom, there you go. Say what? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I think Megan should stop getting advice from Ellie as soon as possible. I don't even think he's listening to her. Probably a mirror nearby. Yep. You didn't start acting because of Sophia. You're your own girl. You'll get a roll, she'll get a roll. You know, coffee cream, tree paper, banana strawberry. I think I'm picking up what Ellie is throwing all over the ground. He brings up a great point. Megan doesn't need Sophia to be happy. She needs him. She needs a man. This explains why he dresses so well. Oh, Megan. I was wrong. You don't need a man. All she needed was something Elliot said. Just like that? Like that? No, not that. You didn't start acting because of Sophia. You're your own girl. You'll get a role. She'll get a role. Yeah, that. Megan felt the drive, the passion, the insomnia. Can't Megan just have a wonderful... Oh, wait. Maybe that's Sophia. Ooh. Dad. I guess not picking up your phone has consequences. Come in. Way to go, Megan. Uh, this is it. Where's Sophia? I would like to meet her. Uh, she got a job, actually, so... I'm gonna be alone for about a month or two.
So, tell me what you got going on. What do you want to hear? How's your acting going? It's, uh, it's fine. I think a simple phone call would have worked for that. You don't pick up my calls. I don't really want to hear from you. I mean, all you do is degrade me and tell me to come home. It's like my dreams mean nothing to you. And they mean everything to me. So if you're here to drag me home, you're wrong. I'm not coming home. I didn't come here to take you home. Why are you out here then? Just wanted to see California. See what it was like. Well? It's nice. It's really nice. I thought you'd been here before. No, never. Uh, never had much opportunity, you know? Or the nerve. I always uh, dreamed of coming out here and playing the clubs on Sunset Boulevard. Starting a band, playing the Whiskey A Go-Go. But uh, then... Then you had me. Life happened. A beautiful life. I am extremely proud of you. Why? You're doing it. You're living the dream. I'm trying. Don't cry, okay? Please don't cry. Um, your, um, your mother and I would like to do something for you. We'd like to, um, you know, pay for three months of rent here. Just, we'd like to do that. I don't need your money, Dad. I just need you to support me. I'm sitting here. I just as soon start playing the fire. No more white fluffy clouds. They are a dream of the past. This is real, Megan. This is real. Your dad now accepts who you really are, and I am extremely proud of you, even though I am just a narrator. Oh, I almost forgot. Sophia got killed off in one of the episodes of Hooked on the Force of Love. Spoilers, the Sandy Sand was let go for being too much quote-unquote diva. And Ellie opened up yet another all-male strip club. Yes, I said another. Because this whole time, he's been a manager of a men's strip club. That should have been the first red flag. Anyway, that dress looks bomb on you, man. Also, I think it looks better in red. Take one.